just so. Vietnam. 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 Just so Vietnam. Hello and welcome to Just So Vietnam, a Vietnam travel guide and a guide to the way of life here. In the next 10 minutes, we're going to explore modern day Vietnam through the eyes of expats who call it home. Here's the headlines for today's show. What is chicken feather duster? Bet you have seen quite a few on the streets in Vietnam. Sam will explain more in Just Ask. And then step into the world of macrobiotic diet an emerging trend in the world, and in Vietnam as well. Let's check out the segment, Just Try. And last but not least, a useful travel tip in Vietnam for solo travelers will end our show. What do you want to know about Vietnam? Just ask my co-host Sam Patterson any question about travel and life here in Vietnam. Hello everyone, it's me, Sam, from Just Ask. Today, I'm cleaning my house. <coughs> cleaning accumulated dust is not easy work, but I have discovered a very helpful tool that's traditionally used in Vietnam. It's the Chicken Feather Duster! Chicken Feather Dusters have long been a feature of Vietnamese homes and are used to clean dust and cobwebs from hard to reach areas like this. The great thing about them is that unlike other dusting equipment, they don't leave untoward scratches. It's easy to use the chicken feather duster. Just pull the duster along the surface with a steady, even stroke and come to the stop at the edge of the surface. The dust will be attracted to the duster by the power of static electricity. Shake out the accumulated dust in the feathers by tapping it against your ankle every once in a while. The dust will settle on the floor, making it easy for you to sweep it away later. In the past, Vietnamese mothers, who typically did the housework, found another use for the chicken feather duster. Brandishing it angrily to keep their naughty kids from misbehaving. Hey! What are you doing? Better stop misbehaving. What did I tell you about scattering your toys about everywhere? Nowadays, of course, things are changing. But for many Vietnamese, the chicken feather duster still evokes memories of a time where they pushed mum too far. So, what about you? Have you ever used a chicken feather duster? Or, what other traditional tools do you find it interesting to see Vietnamese people using? Get in touch on Facebook or YouTube and leave us a comment. Now, if you don't mind, I've got some more cleaning to do. Vegetarianism is becoming more popular across the country as a healthy lifestyle. In the colorful world of vegetarianism, the macrobiotic diet is emerging not only as a way to live healthier, but also to truly taste the flavor of nature. Let's discover the macrobiotic diet in today's segment, Just Try, with Nikki Caesar. Everyone wants to eat healthy, and microbiotics is one of the ways that many choose nowadays. Now anyone that wants to know anything about veganism or plant-based nutrition has found their way to this restaurant. Join me, let's go in. From these small kitchens, 
Many delicious dishes are being made to serve people who love to experience a new and healthy lifestyle. Tôi tên là Nguyễn Thị Kim Nga. À, tôi đến với thực dưỡng là được 8 năm rồi. Ông xã bị ốm đau á, mà đi khám bệnh thì lại không có tìm thấy bệnh. Anh đọc sách về của Tiên sinh Osawa, xong rồi là áp dụng chỉ có 3 ngày thôi. Mà anh ăn cơm gọi lớn với mẹ xong là anh thấy nó khỏe. Ảnh là người đưa tôi đến với thực dưỡng. She's one of the first to bring the microbiotic diet concept to Da Nang. How are you? <laughs> well, what are you doing here? I cook uh, noodle with spring roll. So what are the ingredients in this dish? À, thành phần của một tô bún là gồm có bún gạo lứt, là um, rau củ. Ở trong cái rang này thì có khoai lang, cà rốt. Không có dùng bột ngọt, hạt nem hay đường cát trắng. Vì những cái thứ đó, người ăn họ sẽ không có cảm nhận được cái hương, cái vị ngọt tự nhiên của rau củ. Và quan trọng nhất của cái món bún này là cái nước sốt. Đây là bơ đậu phụng. Bơ đậu phụng giống tôi tự làm. Oh, okay. Peanut butter, Peanut butter. with tamarind. Ah, yeah. tamarind. Yeah. Ah, Đây awesome. là nước sốt. Nước sốt là gồm có hai nguyên liệu đó. Tamari is a Japanese style soy sauce. It's simply made of soy and salt. Meanwhile, homemade peanut butter has a light flavor. All goes well with the freshness of homegrown vegetables. So yummy. So the herbs that you get from the garden, is there any way we can take a look at that today? À, đưa những cái nguyên liệu ở tại vườn của chúng tôi thì nó không có nhiều vì là mỗi vườn nó sẽ có một cái đặc trưng riêng và phù hợp với cái loại thổ nhưỡng cho từng loại cây. Cho nên à, mỗi vườn nó sẽ có có một cái rau củ khác nhau và mùa này thì nó cũng ít rau củ hơn. Okay, that would be so amazing. Thank you so much for that. This is looking so good, by the way. Tôi biết là bạn đang rất là thèm. <laughs> I do want to eat it. <laughs> yeah. Because you come here. Yes, I come here all the time and eat this. Yes. yes. Oh. oh my god, that's so yummy. I'm craving too, Nikki. Can I just have one small spoon of that? I think now she can only see the delicious bowl of noodle. The peanut sauce with tamarind, right? The tamarind. Yeah. I love that combination. It's very, it's very medicinal as well. It's very good. And that's one of the most crucial rules in macrobiotic diet. It's a mediational connection. Macrobiotics is all about eating a balanced diet. See? Nga and Nikki are visiting Nga's organic garden. Let's join with them. Very sweet. Very sweet. Yeah. Very packed with nutrients. So these are edible yes. as well. Yes. So are the flowers edible as well? Yes. You can eat the flowers. Yes. Everything. Yes. Wow. What I loved about this garden is the freshness. Everything you can just go right in and just take and eat it right away. Which is good because all the micronutrients stay intact. So it's just beautiful. As you can see, oops, as you can see, the tomatoes are just plump, they're red, they're juicy. Oh my god, it's so good. You can just dive right in. Right back from the garden, Nga and Nikki now have some fresh ingredients. Tomato, avocado, cucumber, banana, and lettuce. how, again, the combination of all the fruits and vegetables together, I love that combination. But like she said, you can have it without the, the fruits. All the aromatic and all the flavors are coming from the fruits and the vegetables. This is really, really good. <laughs> the flavors just burst in your mouth. <laughs> and that is just a fresh end to the journey of macrobiotic world. Are you a solo traveler? Then you should definitely come to Vietnam. The country has been recommended by Lonely Planet, a large travel guide book publisher, as one of the best places for solo travel. 
Stay tuned as we've got more tips for solo travelers in Vietnam in our segment of Just Go. There's not really a right or wrong time to visit Vietnam, as during most months of the year, you will experience both sunshine and rain in varying quantities. In Hanoi in the north, the weather from May to October is hot and humid with high rainfall. From November to April, it is cooler and dry. In the far north, the weather in December and January can be particularly cold. Central Vietnam experiences hot, dry weather between January and August, and high levels of rainfall can occur in September, October and November. Southern Vietnam is generally dry and hot from November to April, and warm and wet between May and October. Therefore, choose the best time to visit Vietnam based on your weather preference to have a wonderful trip. And with that, this episode comes to an end. If you like this program, then be sure to leave your comments on our fan page, VTV World, or to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Martijn, and this is Just So Vietnam.